In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to use the Report Designer to add images or logos to your layout to your reports. In this example, we're going to be using an invoice layout in Sage Accounts. However, the process is exactly the same if you're using Sage 50 Payroll. To start with, you need to highlight your layout of your report, and then at the top, we click Edit, and that takes us into the Sage Report Designer, where we can start making our required changes. To add an image or a logo, we've got two options. We can either go up to Toolbox at the top and then choose Add Image Stroke Logo or there's the equivalent option on the toolbar, Add Image Stroke Logo. If we click the option and then we'll just say we want to insert a logo in this gap here on our invoice layout. So we can either just click and it gives us a Choose Image box. Now we're just going to stick with the basics today in this demonstration. So we'll choose the option to browse my PC or network for an image and we'll leave the option ticked to store the image in the report. So just OK that. We then need to browse for the layout. So I've got one on, on the desktop. So it's just a Sage logo. I'll highlight that one, click open and it pops it in the box. Now it's really small at this stage and we can resize it if we wanted to. So we can just drag the box or the button in the corner to get it to the right size. And also if we hover our mouse into the middle of the image box we can also move it into position. If you can't find that you can't quite get it into the right position make sure you've got it selected and then you can use your cursor keys on your keyboard just to nudge it into the right position. Now, when you select your image, you'll see that we've got options, a dynamic help box down the left-hand side. Now, if you don't have that, so say we select it and the dynamic help isn't there, we can just go up to view at the top and then we can choose to display the dynamic help options. So there's various options in there. Again, we can change uh, to a different uh, logo or image if we want to. We've also got this option as well, do not stretch the image on resize. What that means is if I do resize it, it keeps, it stays in sort of in proportion. If I take the tick out of that one, and you'll see I can change it to the, the various different sort of dimensions then as well, which obviously knocks it out a bit. There's also other options as well, so you can say, right, well, I want you to print this logo on the first copy only. Or we could also say, right, well, we want it on the layout, but actually we don't want it to be able to be printed. So various options on there. Now, you can insert as many logos as you want. If you want to get rid of a logo, just again, select it, press delete on the keyboard, and that's it gone. But it's very easy. Let's just run through that one more time. We'll drag a box to approximately the right size that we want it to be this time. Choose that first option, OK that one. We'll select the same image, click OK, and then we'll just drag it into the right position. So as you can see, very easy to insert your logos. Maybe if you have trade logos or a company logo, very easy to pop that onto your layout or your report.